presents the scene in the Battery, the newly constructed neighborhood right next to Truist Park. Well, of course, that's a 634 winning percentage for the Mets since June 3rd, not 534. That's in right, baseball. That's right next to the six, Gary. <laughs> You know, sometimes your finger, if your fingers are too fat, right, you know, you're trying to hit the six and it hits the five instead. <laughs> Tyrone Teller leading off for the Mets in the third against Spencer Schwellenbach. And knows one foul. That one may curve back fair, and it does, and Schwellenbach makes the toss down in time. Great hustle by Taylor, who realized immediately the Massé shot that he had hit was going to curl back into fair territory and he beats it out for an infield hit one of the strangest hits you're ever going to see i think olsen came off the bat there it is coming back in and he would have been better to throw it over the top but oh olsen stayed on the base schwanbach is a great athlete oh. it was the decision making look at the ball the cover torn off of it uh, can i tell you something there are a lot of hitters for whom that would have been an easy out at first base. Taylor takes off early and he steals the base easily. So Taylor discombobulating the Braves with his hustle down to first base and now stealing a bag is 11th of the year to put a runner in scoring position. Everything is settled. Wild card round will be Kansas City and Baltimore, Detroit visiting Houston. And the Yankees and Guardians, the one and two seeds. So it's just the National League that is yet to be set. And the good news for the Braves, assuming they advance, and we all expect them to, is that those games will be late. It was 8.30 Eastern time, the start times for those first couple of wild card games. Oh my, is this going to go back fair? It does. Safe. So Schwellenbach gambled to pick it up, but Taylor with the speed beats it out. And that's how the Mets get their first base runner today. It's a tough decision to make here, right? You see the spin, but you go after it. He knew there was a chance, and then he let it come back because you feel like it had time, but it was that soft kind of underthrow there for Spencer Schwellenbach. You're too close, and you can see there's a pace of the baseball that is ripped. You're too close to probably throw that overhand. It's just a matter of kind of staying low and doing the best you can throw with some velocity behind it for Spencer in that spot, but that is, that is an odd play. I've seen a lot of balls start foul and go fair. I have never seen that. Runner goes for second now, and just like that, the Mets have a runner in scoring position. That's a really big jump there from Taylor, and a guy who's got some stolen bases under his belt, almost as if he was banking on them, kind of forgetting about him. You see that jump, he took a huge chance, and one that he was able to cash in, number 11 for Taylor. The other thing that Pierce does really well, it keeps the baseball on the ground. That's nice. seven ground ball double plays behind him, but he is facing the door with the good wheels. Checking over at Marte. Who's back safely. Again, a win for either of these teams, and they are in. A loss, and then you have to try to win game two to get into the postseason. Everything on the line today. In the air, out to right center. Michael Harris is going back. And it is out of here. Are you kidding me? The roller coaster ride continues, and Lindor puts the Mets back in front. One for four on the day. Johnson with a pretty good move. Yeah, I just was going to say, he does have a good move. You got to give Lindor a chance to have a big, another big moment. And Lindor gets under one to center field. Harris going back. It's back near the wall. And it's out of here.
two teams trading body blows in the last two innings. And the Mets leapfrog in front eight to seven on Lindor's towering home run, his 33rd of the year. Oh my gosh, what a ball game. <laughs> you said it, buddy. Wow. Ground ball. Lindor waits on it. He's got it. And the ball game is over. From 0 and 5 to OMG. What a ride. The Mets are going to the postseason in 2024. And what an incredible game to clinch with. Down 3 0. Up 6 3. Down 7 6. Lindor with the home run to put him over the top. And Diaz stretched to the max to close it out. And the Mets win it 8 7.